Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Ultima 9 Ascension. In our last video, the Avatar traveled to the Ethereal Void via a Moon Gate conjured by Lord British's Moon Meddling, and there he cleansed the Shrine of Spirituality, which had what was most certainly the utterly inconsequential side effect of resurrecting Dupre. Yeah. Then the Avatar returned to Castle British to bind the Eighth Circle spells to his spellbook. Hoorah! Now, we've seen some of the Avatar's companions loitering about the castle here, but before we talk with them, let's catch up with Lord British's Seneschal. Ah, you have returned. The companions have come to speak with you. I suggest you hear what they have to say, as it might be the last time you will ever have the chance. I do wish you luck, and may the virtues be with you. He is so very matter-of-fact about that. Yes, you're probably going to die and never return, so have a good day. Oh, yeah, I'll... Uh, thanks. I want to do a couple things in here first. Uh, it is night, so I would like to get the sun up. It's not crucial or anything, but... Um, and we'll be seeing some things outside later, so I'd like to just... Oh! Really? Um... Excuse me, Julia, but, uh... Well... Are you waiting for something? <laughs> I'll just take this. For no particular reason. Can I get in the bed? Nope, not when you're there. Okay, I guess we're talking to you first. Could you, could you please? There we go. Well, this is goodbye, isn't it? I guess you figured out that I've harbored an unrequited love of you for some time now. Oh, well, it's too late for regret or for thoughts of what might have been. Just go knowing that I love you and remember this always. The sacrifice that you have made that of a normal life is a noble one. You have done much for the Britannian people, and in your final act as the Avatar, you'll do still more for them. She's up in the Avatar's room and laying in his bed, and she's like, well, I guess by now you've figured out I have an unrequited love for you. Uh, yeah, I kind of guessed that. Well, anyway, it is, it is sad that things didn't, uh, turn out that way. Had I only known that you loved me. No, I think that it's better this way. You are not meant to settle down. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye indeed. Now I need a nap because I would like the sun to be up. <coughs> Listen to all those horrible vocal tics because there are so many people in this area right now and time is just speeding by, so they're doing all the things all at once. Oh, it's bad. And we'll just wait until it looks like morning. I think... Okay, we've got some cloud cover there. That's probably morning. And yes, I did drop off the rune and the sigil. Don't need them right now. Might later, though. And we'll just make the rounds. Here's Shamino. How you doing, Shamino? Well, dear friend, this is it. Our roads must part. Don't forget that I owe you my life. Lo, those many years ago when the Shadow Lords appeared and pierced me with that magic arrow. You saved me then. I don't know where we'll come out at the end of this. But if you ever have need of me, call and I'll be there. If I have to cross worlds to come to your aid, I will. Remember your spirituality and you will succeed. Yeah, and if anybody could do it, it would be Shamino. It's interesting, he's like, oh, I owe you my life for when you saved me from that magic arrow. Like, I also just saved you from being trapped in the spirit realm. So there's that as well. And here is uh, Jana, a little glitched out graphically, but uh, 
Still Janna nonetheless. Hello, Avatar. Are you ready for the final push? I suppose I'd better be. Just remember that justice must be done. Always keep that in your heart. Goodbye, Avatar. Ready for the final push? What is the Avatar constipated or something? <laughs> uh, right, well, here we have uh, Katrina. Come here and say goodbye to me, Avatar. Okay. Are you trying to fix this too? Yeah, it just never turned back on. It makes noise, you know, but we really need a plumber out here. I'm afraid it's like going under the under the, the stones and it's gonna bubble up somewhere else and then we're you know we're gonna get mold. It'd be awful. Anyway, how you doing, Katrina? Of all of the people that I've known in my long life, you have had the most cause to be proud. Yet you never were. You have always been the most humble of people, Avatar. I have always admired that in you. Keep that humility in your heart, and you will always do well. Goodbye, dear friend. Goodbye, Katrina. You say always a lot. And of course, we've got Yolo and Dupre hanging out where people eat. Falls on castle walls. I suppose it does. Well, 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 Avatar. You're off to confront the Guardian once and for all, eh? Say, do you remember back when we were warring with the Gargoyles and they had you on that altar and were just about to sacrifice you? How could I forget? Well, just don't forget that it was the quarrel from my bow that killed that gargoyle priest and saved you. Farewell, my friend. Our journeys together will always be dear to me. Hmm. Remember compassion, and you will always do well. Gargles? What's a gargle? Is that what you do with the mouthwash? And he's like, hey, do you remember when I killed that gargoyle priest? Of course I do. Look, that is the first Ultima cutscene that I ever saw. The very beginning of Ultima 6, The False Prophet. That is near and dear to me. So, yeah. Are you bragging about your marksmanship now? What is this? What, what a strange thing to tell your friend before he <laughs> runs off to confront his mortal enemy and probably not come back. Anyway, um... Here are these. These are your ashes. Hi, Dupre. Look at me! As good as new! I'm ready to take on an army of goblins. I'm surprised you're not already at the tavern draining the ale kegs. Can you believe this, old man? You'd think that after having been dead for the last 20 years, he'd show a little respect. Why? He never did before you died. In all seriousness, look about you, Avatar. All of our old companions gathered here in one place and for one purpose. You did this, Avatar. You did all of this. And when we get rid of the Guardian, Britannia will be healed and whole again. You've long been a hero, Avatar. Thank you for all that you've done. Aw, oh, that's... That's very nice, and there's a lot to unpack in there, but let's just finish up the conversation first. It is Dupre, after all, so we should talk about drinking. Thanks very much. It's too bad that we don't have time for a drink, eh? We'll have that drink some other time. We've got more important things to do right now. Indeed. So, um, by the way, I... You know, <coughs> yeah, I brought your ashes. Yeah, freaks me out too, man. Okay, well you can just... sit there and think about that. Yeah, the conversation with him is a little... peculiar in places. Um, it can be pretty glitchy, as you saw. There's a moment where Yolo is supposed to break into the conversation. And he does, but... the game waits. It's, it's very, very awkward. And then there's some dialogue stuff that I just 
For example, he says you'd think that after having been dead for the last 20 years, he'd show a little respect. Dupre, to whom are you referring? YOLO or yourself? You have to you have to specify that because you made it sound like YOLO's been dead for the last 20 years and that because of that he should be showing respect to people. <laughs> And uh, yeah, you know, Shamino chimed in there uh, right after that. You couldn't see him because the camera was in the wrong place, but he did chime in. And that tracks because Shamino, Dupre, and Yolo are always kind of the Avatar's main bros. So that was that's kind of nice, I guess. But then there's this other statement that Dupre makes. He says, you did this, Avatar. You did all of this. And... It's, it's meant to be, oh, hey, look, you got everybody together and you're fixing everything and it's all going to be okay. And, you know, own this. You did it. it it's wonderful. And I'm just thinking, ah, uh, well, that means more than you know, Dupre. Because the Avatar did do this by splitting into the Avatar and the Guardian. The Oracle confirmed it. Shamino confirmed it. It's really not great. So, yeah. Then finally, he says, And when we get rid of the Guardian, Britannia will be healed and whole again. Yeah. Yeah. Until the Order Serpent goes crazy and its followers slaughter everyone again. But hey, not my circus, not my monkeys. That's, that's fine. Let's keep going. Yeah, here we have Jeffrey. Well met, Avatar. I want you to know that meeting the Guardian toe-to-toe -to -toe is an act of unprecedented valor. You are to be commended. Well, I've said enough. Go bravely, my friend. You don't have to stop so quickly. You can say more if you'd like. But, uh, okay. Let's head into the prison. There's somebody here who has something to say as well. Oh, I miss my old life in Castle dearly. I hope that someday I'll finally be released from this cell. Perhaps it was for my own good that I've not been above ground. I might not have liked the world I'd seen. I've been told this was your last visit. I bid you good luck and farewell. Yeah, Richard's not crazy. Not entirely, anyway. He knows what's going on. Stop right there. Let me get a look at you. Oh, okay. Look at this. Nah. We're not gonna do that. That just leaves Mariah. And I imagine she is... Good day, Avatar. Hello. I imagine she is hanging out near the lab, because of course she would be around magic and potions and things. So that means heading through Lord British's room and to this teleporter. We were just up here, binding the 8th Circle Spells to the spellbook, but we didn't look outside. Hey, Mariah. See? I told you that we would meet again. We have stood together in the face of so many challenges and come through them all as boon companions. I remember dealing with that corrupt fool Batlin as though it were yesterday. I wish with my heart that we could go on this final adventure together, but it cannot be. We all have our roles to play, and they take us to different places. As you go forward, remember your honesty. It is your greatest attribute. Is it though? This avatar's a ranger, so his spirituality is his greatest attribute. Ah well. I'll miss you, Mariah. And I you, old friend. Good luck. Well, we have spoken with the avatar's eight companions. Remember at the beginning of the game, we looked at all these crystal balls and just tried to surmise what we might be seeing through them? Let's look at them again, for nostalgic purposes. Ah, 
yes, Buccaneer's Den with those two fellows who encouraged the Avatar to uh, redistribute his wealth upon his arrival. That was nice. Next. And there's Valoria, the town that replaced Jellum, and with no real explanation as to why that was something that needed to happen. All right, next. And pause. Still totally a swamp. Next. Yes, Turfin, with its guardian face mountainside that players first saw at the end of Ultima 8 and were left wondering about for four years until the release of Ultima 9. Next. And there's Minoc and the lovely waterfall going through the center of the town. Thanks. I needed that in my ear. <coughs> oh, I guess she knows I am lying. Does not appreciate the dishonesty. Oh well. Next. There's Moonglow, which houses the Lyceum, which houses the Book of Truth, which is apparently sentient now and calling itself the Oracle. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Next. Oh, short and sweet. That's the, the Bastion, intrinsic. And finally... you with all of its extremely bizarre and horrible pulley systems and bridges and whatnot. And here is Lord British's telescope. So that he can creep upon the people of Britain. Because, yeah, you don't really need a crystal ball for that. It, it is right there. Now, interestingly, uh, I don't know, I would have expected eight crystal balls for eight virtue-aligned towns and maybe that telescope for funsies or something, but that's not how this turned out. If Britain were the only virtue-aligned town not to get a crystal ball because it has a telescope over there, I guess you could expect to see Paws as a replacement, for example, but instead we got Paws, Buccaneer's Den, and Turfin. Now, I don't know why we didn't get a crystal ball for New Magentia, but I think it's pretty clear why we didn't get one for Scarabray. If we had looked into that crystal ball earlier in the game before the Guardian destroyed the place, the developers would have had to have a living, breathing Scarabray for us to see, and there probably just wasn't time for that. Well, let's head back down. I think it's time to have a conversation with Lord British. Hello, Avatar. Who's just staring at his uh, throne. Whatever works for you, man. Well, my friend, you've done it. You've cleansed the lost shrine, and you've consulted the Codex. 
You know what you must do, and how you must do it. Are you ready to confront the Guardian? My lord, I've been waiting for this moment for far too long. I'm more than ready. Very well, then. You must be off to Turfin. That's where you'll find the Guardian. Go. Go and destroy him so that you may finally fulfill your destiny and move on from this place. What about you, my lord? I'll not be with you. This is something that you must do alone. Don't worry, though. The companions and I will be busy doing our part. There are things that we must do so that you may confront the Guardian. But will I ever see you again? No. You're made of something greater, Avatar. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to ascend. Farewell, old friend. Goodbye, my lord. And you know how he'll gripe at you if you come to him on the West Castle Grounds prior to having read the Codex? He'll still send you to the Ethereal Void so that you can cleanse the Shrine of Spirituality, but he tells you you've got to go consult the Codex immediately after that. Well, what if you don't? What if you just come out of there and come talk to him immediately? You can do that if you'd like, and here's what he says. Avatar, you have not read the Codex. It is crucial that you do so. The Codex will tell you how you must defeat the Guardian. Now you must go and consult it, or we are all lost. So yeah, that's... Just, just read the Codex. Just read the Codex. Let's see what the Avatar scribbled about that. Month 2, Day 12. Lord British tells me that I must go to Turfin to confront the Guardian, and he's given me a note of some kind. Indeed he has. Right here. Lord British, we will wait at the columns as you have asked. When you have received the runes of virtue from the Avatar, we will be ready to help you and the Avatar defeat the Guardian at last. Good luck to you as well, Avatar. Your faithful friends, Yolo, Shamino, Julia, Dupre, Janna. Um, what about... Okay, what about Mariah, Joffrey, and Katrina? Are they not... They're not my faithful friends, because this doesn't scroll or anything. Um, okay, so wait a minute. You want the runes now? Were you going to tell me about this? I've told you, Avatar. It is time for you to go. Goodbye. Right, but, but your note here clearly says that you're supposed to get the runes of virtue from me. Uh, let's go ahead and see if he wants them. Since things are coming to a head now, I guess we could throw them all into a bag anyway. Like that one. Okay. Let's just do the same with the sigils. Cool. I'm... Oop, I'm stuck on the armor. I'm, I'm guessing Lord British wants the runes based on that note. Or if maybe he's just going to creep into the Avatar's room and take them. What if I didn't have them in there, Lord British? I've told you, Avatar. It is time for you to go. <gasps> Goodbye. Uh-huh. Well, uh, okay. I'm just going to leave these here then for you. I'm sure you guys can figure it out. Okay. Have a good one. 
Yeah, that's... that's strange. Come here and say goodbye to me, Avatar. I already have. I don't want to again. The next thing that we're going to do is head to Scarabray. You don't need to go back to Scarabray. There's nothing going on there at all. But every time we have cleansed a shrine for a virtue-aligned town, the music changed when we got back. Uh, they, they would all start off with tracks kind of in minor key that sound kind of a little down, a little depressing, things aren't right here, that kind of thing. And upon having the nearby shrine cleansed, things would perk up quite a bit. Except Valoria. That one didn't change for some reason. But yeah, so unless you're a completionist and you just want to go back to Scarabray, you're never going to hear that music. And I want to hear that music. So we are heading back to Raven. So she can take us there. I imagine she's probably caught up on most of what's going on at this time, and uh, we'll want to have a conversation about current events. So, all we have to do now is sail to Turfin, confront the Guardian, and defeat him. Oh, is that all? It won't be easy, but we can do it. There won't be any we, Raven. I'll be going alone. But... I... No buts. I'm not saying this just to protect you. This is preordained. I'm not just going in there to defeat another enemy. I'm finishing something that started a long time ago. I'm finishing something that's more important than two people. Can't I at least sail to Turfin with you? Can't you at least give me that? Yes, of course. This might be our last chance to be alone together. I wouldn't miss that for the world. Let's get underway then. Where would you like to go? Yeah, actually, not Turfin. So, we're going to Scarabray. Scarabray. Here we are. That is definitely different music. Right, let's see what the Avatar scribbled about his conversation with Raven. Raven says our remaining task is to head to Turfin and find the Guardian. It, it sure is. Something interesting, uh, during my testing, when I was preparing for this video, I still had the Rune of Spirituality in the Avatar's backpack when I spoke to Lord British the first time in the castle, when he said, you know, this is goodbye, and yada da 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 and here's a note. In fact, let's organize that a little bit. It's not a very important note, I guess, but there we go. Amazing. Uh, yeah, and, and when I was finished speaking with him, the rune was gone. And I was very confused at that point. I was like, well, okay, I guess he needs all the runes. I'll just gather them up and I go up into the Avatar's room and... You know, wait a minute, I've only got seven... Oh yeah, the rune of spirituality. Did I... Did I put it... Wait a minute. Where is it? And then I realized I think he nicked it. So... <laughs> Yeah, old sticky fingers British. I guess that's a thing that can happen. They'll just be gone if, uh, if you do that. We can run around a little bit. I wonder if the Sentinel has anything new to say here. We might have to take care of that gazer first. That's okay. We can do that. We've cleansed all eight shrines. We're awesome. Dead. Dropped a scroll of fireball. Ooh, strange. We've got the uh, 
kind of dark Scarabray music back now. And now we've got the nice Scarabray music. Uh, I suspect that's not how that is supposed to work, but uh, what do I know? May blessings be upon you, worthy Avatar. Right, and the Sentinel has nothing new to say. And I think we have now heard this nice track sufficiently. So I am going to head back over to here to Raven. Because we're done in Scarbray. I mean, we were already done in Scarbray, but now we're really, really done in Scarbray. And we'll get on with things in the next video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.